Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now last time we built a line to nowhere. And I don't mean it, it goes to absolutely no connection anywhere. I mean it literally goes to the town of nowhere. Now this uh, line, uh, these uh, towns have no connection to anything else on the map by road. Uh, and I did that to see if it would uh, would force the uh, passengers to use the rail line. And it does seem to be doing that, as you can see by the uh, passenger counts here. I've actually added more trains to this line. And it seems to be working out uh, fairly well. It, uh, well, yeah, we've got... Uh, passenger service and the trains are running and there's uh you, you know there's passengers arriving places you know it, it, it's just kind of working right so uh what i'm going to do is uh, start expanding this uh what i'm pretty sure is going to turn into a passenger hub at nowhere now it occurs to me that i want to connect this down to this uh this line down here somehow but I'm not, and I, I was thinking probably the best connection point is Duckburg. And that's uh, for two reasons. One, we've got this sort of snaky path through here where we can get around to the Nowhere Station. And we have somewhere we can put an extra platform at Duckburg, right? And I kind of want to run a connection out of Duckburg through this mountain range up to Zion as well. And I think we'll also have a connection out of uh, nowhere up into the Zion uh, Florin uh, 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 multiplex here, I think. But the first thing I'm going to do is put the connection up from uh, Duckburg. And that's going to require a platform at the Duckburg station. So uh, we'll add a, uh, a track. Now we really only need the one track here. So that's all I'm going to put in. And then I just need to route the line up through and get it into here. Now the hardest part, I think, is going to be getting past Mos Eisley. I want to come through and hug the mountain here, uh, ish, I think. I'm not sure quite how that's going to work out. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Okay, yeah, so we've got a good uh, slope going on here. I think I might run the line underground through Mos Eisley and then wait I'm going for Duckburg right yeah uh, so if I come through Mos Eisley and I come around this way yeah okay I think that will work so the Biggest challenge is how do I get that to connect? And uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to come off the uh, the bottom platform here for the moment. So we'll do that. Uh, we can stick, obviously, a train thing coming out of here. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. And we'll do this too. Right, so doing that means I can I can use my depot back here to get a train on here. Now, how do I get a rail line through here? Well, I think uh, I delete this. Yeah, I think that... Oh, uh, I'm going to have to pause it. Okay, so, so I delete this, right? And then I can bring a rail line up that way. Yeah. And how do I get 
Well, I can come through. Uh, I can come through like that, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Come through like that. Now, I kind of want to come through like this. Now, if I go level, yeah, that doesn't work so well. I'm going to have to bulldoze a bunch of stuff to do this. Uh, so you're just going to bulldoze a bunch of stuff, are you? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to connect it up again. Uh, oh, you're going to connect it up again. I suppose that makes it all right then. Probably. Now, if I keep this on the flat, I should be able to get through. Okay, yeah, this will go through with minimal difficulty, right? Okay, now I just need to connect this up. I think I need to get rid of this too. Now we come in here with roads. Now... Um, okay. Yep, that's exactly the height we need. But if we grab that one, I think it looks slightly better. So we'll do that. You know what? I'm going to keep that, that bridge exactly that way. Why? Because I can. Oh. Now, also, because I can do this. Oh, I see. So you're using it as a uh, clever way to get a uh, road through there without making it ugly. Well, I don't know so much about clever, but it's a way to get a road through. Make that straight. And, okay, good. That will do that. We will do one of those bridges again. Yep. Hey, we got a connection there. And guess what? We're going to put a road under the bridge again. Yeah, we are, apparently. We're not going to do it that way, though. We're not going to do it that way. No. Uh, we're going to make it much shorter under the bridge part. Yeah. Okay. That is much shorter. Uh, then we're going to make a curving thing happen. Oh, I see. No, you don't. Really? I don't? Okay. I suppose maybe not. Um... If we make that straight, we can do this. Yeah, we can do that. That seems like it probably connects things up well enough that the town development scheme can actually work. The town development scheme, huh? There's a scheme behind it. Well, probably not. Anyway, we can uh, let the... Uh, the town do its thing now. Okay, now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to have to crank it around down here. Yep. You know, you're going to have to back this up a bit to do that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so we uh, we need to crank this around kind of like this. 200 kph is fine. You know what? I'm going to leave that little tunnel there. It's another spot that uh, the town can build a road across the tracks. Right. Oh. We need to crank that even tighter. Okay. Well, we'll crank it even tighter. We'll try to keep the uh, speed up up around uh, 
around something useful. Oh, we've got a downgrade here. Um, well, we can actually make it down. Um, but no, we don't need to go that way. We need to go this way. Uh, what if we do this? We're going to go maximum down bubble. No, we're going to go back here. We're going to start the maximum down bubble back here. Yeah. Um, okay, so if we go max down. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got max down. And, ooh. And max down only gets us so far. Okay. Well, if we max down like that. Well, obviously, we're going to use the concrete. Yeah. Then we can max down across here. Yeah. That is high. Well. Well, let's take it. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll grab that. We'll take that. Now, can we connect onto that? Um, possibly. Okay. So you're going to come out of here on maximum up bubble, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we kind of have to, don't we? Okay, and we'll start with an embankment thing. Which side is that on? Uh, it's on... That side. Okay. So, we need a uh, track coming out that side. Okay. Now, uh, we need this to come around max up bubble. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Okay. Now, we do that. Can we connect up to here? We can. I think I'm going to have to go for the viaduct. I'm going to go for the viaduct. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for the viaduct. Nice concrete viaduct. Okay. Where are we? Where are we? There we are. Okay. We need to come around like so. Yeah. And up to here. Well, that gives us a track going through there. Uh, yeah, it does. It does give us a track going through there. Okay. Well, now that you've built it, you need to put a signal or two on it. I, I kind of do. Okay. Well, we'll stick one there. Uh, you're putting them quite a far distance apart. Not really. We're only going to run maybe a couple of trains on here. Maybe a couple of trains. You don't know how many trains you're going to need on here. No, no, I really don't. But I don't think I'm going to need a dozen trains. So having signals spaced out a bit isn't going to make all that much of a problem. Now, is it? No, I suppose it's not. You do realize this talking to yourself shtick is uh, just dumb, right? Yes, yes, I do realize that. Okay, well, as long as you realize that, we should be good. 
Really? We should be good? Who knew? Now, I think we need to put a train on that. Yeah, really? You built a train line and you're going to put a train on it. Now let's grab an electric um, uh, multi-unit. Now, I think since our we have a relatively slow track, uh, we can get away with a slower train. Uh, 193 would be fast enough, but uh, I don't think, I think I want a, a decent capacity. Uh, the commuter train at 130 might be fast enough. 12 times loading, 100 capacity, 99 capacity. I don't think we need an I an ice one. Uh, that's uh, that's probably not going to pay for itself. TGV maybe. That one does one twenty five. The Shinkansen Zero does one hundred and sixty. It's a slower load, but this is a point to point service. Uh, 160 capacity. I wonder, TGV or Shinkansen? TGV, I think. Okay. Add. It's 207 meters. Yeah, that's fine. Buy it. New line. We're going from nowhere to Duckburg. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, nowhere to Duckburg. Okay. So what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to we're going to jump on board and uh, ride this a little bit. Just see what uh, what things uh, look like here. So we're heading for Duckburg. Yes, that makes sense because we can't reach the platform in nowhere from this uh, station or this depot. Okay, that makes sense. So we just need to uh, tool along here a bit. We arrive in uh, at the Nowhere Station. We run through the platform and then we head on to Duckburg. And that's the part of the line I want to see. I want to I want to see it actually uh, see what it looks like as we uh, trundle through it. Well, we're trucking along at 120. That's okay. I'm kind of hoping that uh, somebody ports the uh, complex station uh, mods from uh, from Transport Fever One, uh, because even the classic way that uh, Transport Fever One did uh, did station configuration, it works. And I would love to have uh, sloping complex curvature, etc. stations in Transport Fever 2. It would make fitting things into some areas a little better, especially when you're expanding stations later. And I think that's going to be the only way curved stations really work. Uh, there's... Uh, some complex modeling needed to do that and uh, having uh, a uh, what is it modular curvature thing isn't really going to work very well I don't think well uh, we're heading on through the tunnel then we'll come out of the tunnel and then we'll have the uh, viaduct 
Well, we're traveling along at uh, 140 kph, so that's not too bad. Okay, there's the first the first bridge. Then here's our uh, extended viaduct. Now, of course, the uh, thing about these extended viaducts, I'm not sure how realistic they are, uh, really. But I'm pretty sure uh, they've built some pretty substantial uh, viaducts along these, these lines in places like China on their uh, high-speed lines. But, you know, this is looking kind of nice with those skyscrapers popping up in the uh, towns. As we approach here, well, we're getting to the modern, uh, you know, calendar dates, right? So we have the modern-ish skyscrapers. Hey, okay, we're coming in here for a landing. Oh, wait, no, we're we're on tracks. We're coming into the station. But just with the angle we're coming down, it's kind of like a landing, isn't it? And we're going to pick nobody up. Oh, no, we do have a passenger here. A couple of them. Half a dozen, maybe. So we're going to take people back to nowhere. I, I tell you, these people that want to go to nowhere, I, I, I just, uh, I don't get people going nowhere. Well, actually, I kind of do. We've got more than a dozen. Ooh. For a first run, that's uh, pretty impressive. But getting more of these cross connections and so on is going to improve overall uh, traffic flow. Because the more, uh, the more destinations that are easily reachable, the more the, the residents of a town will split where they go. And that means there will be less overload for other uh, directions. And since we're not going to put a road along this connection... This, this should work uh, very well as a, as a, a, a release valve uh, on the other line going further around the long way. And of course, as, I connect, as you connect more points on the network together, or more stuff onto the network, the networking effect uh, makes everything else function better, right? or have more usage so this uh this train i think will be the right will be a good train for this line i kind of like the viaduct coming through the valley here actually i kind of like it yeah I, it's higher than i'd like but i'm okay with that it's it's functional okay well let's uh Let's just uh, stay on board here as we come through Moss Isley, as we whistle through it. Yeah, we're making 130 kph uphill here, so yeah, we're, we're good. I think we're good. Okay, we're coming up on the, as uh, the colonel would put it, I think a cheeky tunnel. It is kind of cheeky, isn't it? But it does serve a purpose. And we come through here in uh, Moss Isley. Yeah, everything everything seems to be okay here. Okay. Let's uh let's jump out of there. Uh okay. Whoa, stop following. Okay, so that's filled in. So that uh building that road probably not a bad choice. Okay. The town is happy. Now we'll jump in over here and see if we pick up any uh, any passengers 
Let's see how much we... Uh, well, we're going to pick up passengers. 71 going back. So, yeah, we've definitely picked up a, uh, of a, a service that should be profitable. Okay, we uh, slide into the station. And what's the uh, payoff on... Uh, you know, like half a million with just uh, just over a dozen people or so on the train. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And we're taking 110 back the other way. So, yeah, that's okay, I think. Oh, I see I need to do some uh, road adjustments here. Need to take uh, some traffic lights out. Yep. Okay, take the traffic lights out there. Oh, I've got a traffic light to take out there. Okay, we're good there. And over there. And I see here we got another one to take out. Yeah, okay. That's just to keep the traffic flowing, right? Taking the traffic lights out helps. Okay. So far so good. We're uh, moving we're moving passengers around. Okay. Good. And we're not creating a huge backlog. Okay, good. I think we've got enough trains on there. So so we have a connection down to Duckburg. Uh, it might make sense to uh, bring a line, uh, eventually bring a line from Bedford Falls up into, in, into, into uh, uh, Waterdeep or even up to nowhere. Uh, as I said, it seems to be turning into a hub. Now from nowhere, I, the other line I brought in there, I want to do a through line on that that goes somewhere else. And really, I think Trantor is the, the direction for that to go. And then another line can come out of here and head up to Mega City 1. Yeah, I think. And then maybe Swallow Falls. Yeah, I think that might be the thing. Extend the, the line from Swallow Falls. Because we've already got, we've already got a Terminator here. A double terminator so if I add a, another uh, connection point in Swallow Falls ooh, that uh, that could be good that could be good uh, yeah and I think I'm yeah Swallow Falls and if I put a little inner city hop, uh, where does that go? Uh, that goes. Oh, no, there is a, a an inner city. Uh, no, that's cargo. Yeah, that's cargo. Uh, but if I were to bring a uh, line across from Minas Tirith, ooh, that is a... Oh, I remember building this complex thing here. Yeah. Yeah, if I were to bring... Hmm. I'm not sure how I would do that. Yeah. But if I were to bring a... state, Bring a... a a point to point service across here ultimately I don't know if I can with the elevation uh, but if I did that and took this road out it might work but yeah I think uh, a line up from nowhere through Mega City 1 into Swallow Falls yeah that gets into the Thneedville uh, Star City Hawkins complex up here. Yeah. 
where we've got a ridiculous amount of traffic. Yeah. Yeah, if I think if we connect in here, we can divert some of the uh, the traffic down this way. Over to nowhere, possibly. Yeah, I think that might be the thing to do. So how would this go? Uh, we would... Uh, I think we would come around this way. Have the station at Mega City 1 come this on this side. And then we would come around. Uh, I think we would come through the mountain and approach from here. Because then we can also connect from Swallow Falls up to... Uh, Joliet I think yeah yeah and then in the area we could bring a line from Minas Tirith if we can get it over there uh, up to Hill Valley possibly and into the uh, Winchester's and Fieldville or Gotham City points. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. We have uh, some... Well, there's some complexity here that I had not expected. So that means we're going to need a... Uh, ultimately, I'm going to start this. Uh, so we're going to need ultimately a uh, track coming out of here like this what no like this right and we're gonna do this and this now uh, we need it to get around to Mega City 1. Okay, so this is going to be a slow line, at least at this point. So we're going to accept the slow speed right here, right? And we'll bring it around. And I should replace that with a bridge. There's plenty of room to put a bridge there. Then I need to get it around to Mega City 1. Now, if I do this, uh, oh, 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 that'll work. Okay, so I just need to bang a station in there. Okay, 320, high speed, bang a station in. And then we're going, yeah, we're going that way. Okay. So if we bang a station in, eh, say right about here, I think. Yeah, right about there. And that is Mega City 1. Now, I think if I got a read on that right, I should be able to just grab this, bang it in. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes, this will work. Bang it in. Nope. Bang it in. Right. Get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. That is, I believe, acceptable. Okay. Well, if that's acceptable, bang in the other track. Yeah, we even managed to avoid conflicting with the... Uh, freight line that's there. That is a freight line, right? Yeah, that is a freight line. Okay. So we managed to avoid a conflict there. Nice. Okay. Well, that's part of it sorted out. Now, the question is getting up to Swallow Falls. No, that's not a question. That's a project. Well, it is a question, too, because we have to figure out how to do it. Now, it might make sense 
to parallel this track here to get through and then we can approach from this direction yeah I think that is the way to go okay so if we come up to here uh, if we do this what does this look like if we do this uh, what if we make it oh that's acceptable yeah, that is acceptable. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll take it. And, uh, yeah, we'll take the road out uh, and put a uh, bridge-type operation in here. Uh, right. Too much slope. Really? Well, if we do this... And we go down. Ah, down works better. Yeah, down works better. Okay, well, so we'll go down. Uh, right. You need to uh, put another track there. Right. Okay, well, that gets us around. That will get us around through the mountain without having to pilot another tunnel through. Yeah, we can afford another tunnel, but uh, this seems more... Wait, no. This seems more... Uh, what? Okay. What? Snap. Okay. Okay. Well, that's snapping now. So what's the deal here? Uh, what? Okay. I don't get it. Anyway, this gets us a fast connection through at least. Okay. Now, we need to peel off from there and head this way. Okay. Well, we'll uh, peel off and head that way. I can take that speed, okay. And then we need to figure out how we're getting into Swallow Falls. And I think we're going to have a bit of a mess with slopage. Yeah. Let's just uh, take a gander here. Uh, how does the slope... Oh, no. We won't have a problem. I don't believe we will have a problem. So it's just a matter of getting to the station and remodeling the station okay well there's no room there yeah that's going to be a slight problem sorting that out so that's going to be this is going to be a problem for the next episode so i think i'm going to bulldoze a whole bunch there and put a four track station in Four tracks, you say? Well, yeah, because if I add a third track, I won't be able to put the uh, reasonably. It'll look dumb if I put the a station building on both sides. So four tracks. Yeah, that uh, seems logical. Then once I uh, rebuild everything, we'll be able to uh, connect everything into there and it uh, should, well, just work, right? Anyway, that's the plan, uh, but that's going to be a little bit more tinkering than might be uh, ideal for this point in an episode. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to put a cut here, and next time around we're going to connect into Swallow Falls, and possibly uh, work on a 
through connection up to minus Tirith as well. Uh, so I think perhaps, yeah, yeah, because a, a Hill Valley connection will come around this way. Okay, yeah, and maybe Hill Valley into Hawkins or uh, Winchesterton Fieldville as well. Hard to say. Anyway, it's a uh, it's uh, something to mess with. So that's uh, next time's problem. So we'll uh, definitely look at that next time, obviously. Uh, so for now, uh, that's uh, that's going to be it. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, especially now that there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And see you back next time.